Yeah, a Hi! <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat on a Friday. We're mixing up all the days of the week this week. Uh, thank you to everybody who sent a message or called or texted or whatever it was about um, the excitement here on Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday morning, it was exciting indeed and we just are the luckiest people probably in Hood River right now because we didn't have any damage at all and the fire was literally on the other side of the wall that I am facing right now. So kudos to the amazing fire people who came very quickly from not just Hood River but also Mosier, Cascade Locks and the Dells to make sure that nothing else burnt um, except for the space where the fire started. Unfortunately, there is damage in that building next to us from smoke and water, but it just could have been so much worse. So we are all very fortunate. Also, in a funny twist, we're in a really old building that does not have a sprinkler system, which is good because it would have gone off in this situation and we would have not had any fire damage, but we would have had all of the yarn ruined by the sprinklers. <laughs> so everything, everything aligned in our favor and we are grateful to the cosmos. Um, so we had to bump our chat to Friday, and I know that means that uh, we probably won't catch as many of you live as we usually do, but that's okay. You can watch the replay. Um, it is sweater weather here in the Pacific Northwest. It got cool and rainy at the end of August, which is bizarre. The kids started school this week, and it wasn't 104, which it usually is every time they start school. So I'm wearing my fireworks. I am so happy. It's like the first sweater day of the season for me. So yay for that. Um, yeah, let's start talking about yarny goodness. Hi, hi everybody that has said hi. So the first thing is I am super stoked to show off a sample that Jill actually finished a little while ago and we needed a massive restock of the Blue Sky wool stock, so I wasn't showing you the sweater, but let me just get my handsome dress form down here. This is Moby, the grown-up version. Say hi, Moby. Hi. <laughs> I'm not alone. The store's open. <laughs> I have an audience. <laughs> so Moby is the petite knit sweater. If you might remember that Jill um, first made Moby in the kids' size, and it's stunning. And what did you use? Ultra wool, Jill. Jill's, Jill's gone. Jill, did you, what did you use for the, oh, she's bringing it to me. This is the benefits of doing your chat with the store open. <laughs> so here's the, um, the baby one that Jill made. What was this yarn? Uh, Ultra Wool DK. Ultra Wool DK. And she loved knitting it so much. She made this one for herself in the wool stock worsted. So can I hand you that? Thank you. She used the 150 gram skeins. Oh, look, Moby's going to show them to you right here. I think it was like three skeins. <laughs> right there. <laughs> it took her three skeins for her size. So you could make it out of any of these beautiful 150 gram skeins right here. But you could also use um, the 50 gram skeins if you wanted a broader color palette and you wanted to use any of those colors right there. So it's a really lovely design as are all of Petite Knits. It's got a beautiful turned rib neckline um, cables and knit pearl patterns, just really, really classic, beautiful fit. So Julia just shared the link to the Moby blog post so you can read all of the details yeah. about how to make a Moby for yourself if you are so inclined. So <laughs> Cardi Bell's making faces at me, you guys. Cardi Bell brought new bags, but I didn't get here in time to get them on the website. So you're all gonna have to wait probably till next week. Um, so the next step on my list of things to talk about is we are only one week away from the excitement of Marie Green from Olive Knits here in the store for the debut of her latest book, The Joy of Yarn. So if you have not made your plans yet, it's not too late. I think we might have one or two tickets left to the VIP event on Friday night. It's almost sold out. Uh, we actually added five spots because I was like, sure, we'll squish five more people in. And then of course, if you can't make it to that, you can come to the book signing during shop hours Saturday, um, the 9th from 11 to one. So you've got both of those options and uh, it's gonna be a really good time. It always is when Marie's in the house. So um, Kara, you're getting some hellos. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm always using my sunglasses as a headband. So please do um, check out the event if you're close enough to drive uh, and arrive here. It'll be worth it. It'll be really, really fun. Uh, so once now, let's see. Hold on. I've got a, a list in my pocket. Oh, okay. Because we moved the chat to today, and today happens to be September 1st, I get to show you all of the new limited edition colors that came out today. Well, not all, there's two of them, but. Um, so they're just both really stunning. So just a second, I gotta grab them. Okay, so first up from Tosh, their hue of the moment this month is short court, and it is in honor of the nation's latest obsession, pickleball. How beautiful is this color? So right here, this is the Merino light. We get it on two bases. And then this is the DK. There we go. Um, both gorgeous. So short court. And again, if you wanna make sure you get your skeins, you can be a subscriber and then you also save $2 off the retail price. And then from Knitted Wit, this month's Her Story feature is Beverly Cleary. Oh. <laughs> a Pacific Northwest author also. I know a lot of you know Beverly Cleary from your youth. And this colorway is New Galoshes. I love it. I read a lot of Beverly Cleary as a kid, a lot. Um, and I just love the little speckles that are in this and the raincoat, rain boot combo there. So I am so, <laughs> look how well these look together. I know, right? They completely work together. It's so fun. Uh, so check all of these out. These are the um, limited edition colors from our two favorite dyers that always release on the first of the month. There is, oh shoot. Hey Jill, can you bring me some Wolfstock North? I totally forgot. We have something else that debuted today. I'm tossing yarn. Uh, Wolfstock has a brand new base. It is, today is the launch day. And it is luscious. Uh, meet Woolstock North. This is that same gorgeous Highland wool <laughs> in a super bulky yarn. It's a single ply. It is soft as butter, you guys. I'm not kidding. It is so squish. And it comes in a beautiful range of, <clears throat> um, I think they started with 14 colors from the Wolfstock line, and I'm sure they will add more as the seasons go, but uh, there's lots of fun patterns they've just released with their collection with this. It would be a really good quick hat. Uh, now I have fiber in my lip gloss. Um, anyway, check it out. It is just, it's very, very squishable. I mean, that's, that's all I can say. Um, ooh, should I show off the basket? Yes. Okay. Ha! <laughs> There's something I totally forgot about. Jill's grabbing it. So let me just do a quick song and dance. <laughs> okay. This yarn came in last week or the week before that, and Ariana took it home right away to make a sample. And I have to show you. So here's Squish. You might have seen this on our website and maybe have been a little confused about the scale. Because if you just look at the picture of this yarn, you might think, oh, it's maybe the size of like a giant uh, big box skein of something, you know, like the pound of yarn or whatever that the acrylic stuff. It's this big. This, my head is for scale. It is literally almost twice the size of my head. So this giant whopper of a skein is like a t-shirt yarn. It's a really soft tube that is then blown in with um, a poly fill. So it's soft and squishy. And this is one of the things you can make with one of these big balls, big balls. Look at this beautiful basket, hand woven. So all of the instructions come on the ball band. There's a, there's a link where you can get the pattern and the instructions to make this basket. There's also um, options to make a crocheted basket. And then there's an option, there's a free pattern for a knitted puff, like the um, Ottoman, style puffs and I think it takes three. The baskets take one for this size. They're fun and large. And if you wanted, you could make it into a really stylish hat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I feel like one of the mushroom characters on Mario Brothers. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Ariana debuted it on Instagram, and she showed it full, uh, full of yarn. It would make a great little yarn basket to sit by your... Um, to sit by your her knitting chair. Rachel asked if she could fit this in a carry-on. Um, Rachel, maybe if you claimed it was an infant and dressed it up in a onesie, <laughs> you could make it like your lap infant. Because <laughs> I don't think it'll fit in your carry-on. <laughs> so check it out from Flax and Twine. They also have some really beautiful bowl kits and things like that um, for... <laughs> What wine am I having for lunch? Destiny wants to know. <laughs> Destiny, you know I'm just naturally this way. <laughs> okay, I just have one more thing I want to tell you all about. And that is a Labor Day special that starts right now. It is Baroque Over New, which we love but feel doesn't get adequate attention in the store. So this is a wool acrylic cashmere blend. It's made entirely from recycled fibers from the garment industry. They sort these fibers by color and then they break them down and spin them into yarn. Seriously, it's not dyed. I don't even understand. It is soft and gorgeous. It's uh, DK weight, comes in beautiful colors, and it's just not getting the love that it should. So we decided we would feature it for Labor Day weekend, starting now. Buy one, get one half off. No limit, no code required. So we also have a pattern from Barocco that is very cute. There's more fiber in my mouth. <laughs> um, it's called the Sydney Pullover, S-Y-D-N-E-Y. And um, it takes five to 12 balls. It goes from like a 30 something to a 77. So it's completely size inclusive, really cute all over um, stitch pattern that just gives it a little bit of texture, really nice fit and drape. And so you could make Sydney it, you can get all the, the Renew you need, but there's also um, a whole collection of patterns Barocco released last fall for Renew. Really cute designs in that as well. Um, they're paid patterns. Sydney is a free pattern, but go check it all out because this is a great opportunity to save. God. <laughs> it's just so much stuff in my mouth. <laughs> to save on this really beautiful yarn. And we're pretty well stocked. It is DK weight, Catherine. Um, so yes, let me give you the specs here. Uh, this is a 50 gram ball and there's 164 yards and it knits 19 to 21 stitches to the inch. So kind of like actually hovering between DK and light worsted um, on a six to a seven needle. So this would definitely work for some of those light worsted weight patterns that you might have in your queue as well. And yeah, it is 35 viscose, 30 wool, 30 nylon, five cashmere. And that five cashmere, you feel it. It's really lovely. All right, folks, thanks so much for tuning in on Friday instead of Tuesday. Um, and <laughs> I hope you have a really good holiday weekend. And it's just going to be a few days until I see you again because we're so close to Tuesday already. Have, <laughs> have a lot of knitting in your Labor Day weekend or crocheting or maybe weaving a giant basket. All right. Adios.